Welcome back everyone to another Perry Astron Stars video. In today's video, it'll be giving you all the best tips and tricks to help you go from this <laughs> to this. God have mercy upon us. Kicking off our list, we have one of the most essential tools when it comes to majority of Roblox games. An auto clicker. The auto clicker that I recommend and personally use is OP Auto Clicker that can be downloaded on Windows, Android, and Mac. Brother, uh. I'm fast as fuck, boy. <laughs> Once it has finished downloading, you're going to open it up to this menu here, change this to one, and set it to any keybind of your liking. When you've set that all up, Go back in game, press your keybind you set earlier and AFK to your heart's content. Wow! Now for the gameplay tips. First I'm going to be talking about all the potions you should use and the ones that you shouldn't. For our essential potions, we are going with the cheaper health potions as it's better value. With super attack potions because they will make us 50% stronger. That's a lot of damage! And if you cannot afford the super attack potion, just buy as much normal attack potions as you can afford. But always make sure you remember that the effects disappear when you die. <gasps> as for the speed potions and pirate tonics, I only recommend them if you have a lot of gold as they're not really necessary. And for XP potions, I strongly recommend you save for your blessing first before buying any of them because farming mobs are a lot better than wasting gold on them anyway. Now moving on to blessings that you can buy at spawn for 10 million coins. The best and only blessing you should be using is the Vitality Blessings. This blessing makes it so you take such little damage and have a way faster health region. Oh my god! The Dexterity Blessing and Agility Blessing are both trash, mainly because you can get the same effect with potions. Now that I've shown you all how to spend your gold, I'm now going to be showing you all the best way on how to earn gold. For this step, you're gonna find any normal boss you can kill in one or two shots. Huh? I'm sorry, it's for the viewers. No! Anyways, you just wanna farm the boss with your auto clicker until you have a lot of their swords. And once you do, make your way over to this pawn shop, sell them all, and congratulations, you're now rich. <laughs> now we are moving on to weapons, and for worlds one through four, you're going to wanna get your hands on all periastrons, as they will carry you easily until world five. For a quick refresher and those who don't know, you can find these periastrons from the level 30, level 250, level 900, level 1.45k, and level 10,000 boss with a drop rate of 0.25%. Boy, ain't no way, boy. I recommend you AFK kill these bosses in a private server overnight. Although these are the best swords in the game, I know these are very hard to get, so if you don't get them, make sure you get all the secret bosses and weapons as they will be better than regular boss drops but I still highly, highly recommend you grind for the Periastrons. If you want to know all secrets in Periastron stars, make sure you check out all my videos on my YouTube channel. For this section, I will be showing what I found as the best Kickstarter for me when starting in World 5. Make sure you kill this boss until he drops his weapon. Once you have his weapon, you're going to head to this spot where you are going to auto-click until you have 120 linked swords. Yeah! Once you have this amount, you're going to sell them. Come to this shop where you will buy this really overpowered weapon that will carry you until you reach level 10,000 and able to get the Ivory Periastron. Thank you all for watching this video. I hope this video was helpful in some sort of way and that you continue to watch, like, and comment on my videos.